Hello, Javier Barrios. Hi, Naomi. It's good to see you again. Good to see you. How have you been? Been good. I've been good. It's um, definitely really strange times we're living in right now and yeah. experiencing. So, yeah. you know, all in all, uh, I'm good. Yeah. yeah. Have you been? Uh, what's you're you're in Oslo right now, right? Well, uh, I live in Oslo, but my studio is uh, one hour outside Oslo, so I commute every day. I'm mm -hmm. in a really small village called uh, Vestfossen, mm -hmm. and it's like one of those villages, there's nothing here, mm -hmm. except that uh, an artist friend of mine started this art center and studios mm -hmm. here. He took over this old factory, so, and you know, we're really privileged with the studio space here and also the reason we're commuting out here each day. So we're six artists and there's also the, the art center, which is open in, during the summer. Amazing. Called uh, Vestfossen Kunstlaboratorium. Okay. Well, Norway is now in a lockdown and do you want to tell us a little bit about what's happening there? Yeah, so we're basically in our fourth or fifth week of the lockdown, I think. Mm -hmm. And it's, I kind of feel like daily life is starting to, you know, uh, emerge again in a whole different mm -hmm. circumstances. Like the framework is different, but mm -hmm. there is a daily life within the crisis as well. Do you go to your studio um, frequently now? Uh, I'm starting uh, slowly to go back to the studio. Um, I'm here like two, two or three times a week now. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing so much artwork. I'm just cleaning up the studio, painting the walls, painting the floor, uh, throwing trash, like just making, um, cleansing, cleansing, kind of preparing myself. It's kind of like a reset button, yeah. which also has been interesting, like following the you know, that the, the crisis, yeah. uh, which in many ways feels like a reset, you yeah. know, like a, for the whole world yeah. and like also reflecting my own studio practice. Yeah. But yeah. I'm working on a small series of paintings. Um, the series is called Grid Paintings. Mm -hmm. And I only have one rule, basically. And it's that they're going to be 30 by 40 centimeters. Mm -hmm. So the format is uh, the only thing that I'm... Uh, that's consistent in the, in the series. And for me, this, this project is more about kind of going into um, the medium of painting more in an archaeological way and, uh, and try to explore different techniques and different expressions. Mm -hmm. And it's just going to be like a series that I'm going to be working on for many, many years. So imagine like, I guess, you know, in like five years, I'm probably going to have like, you know, a few, maybe a thousand, two thousand paintings. Mm -hmm. And I kind of want to see the relationship between nature and technology. And I want them to, in a way, compete against each other. Like if you have, um, you know, like the paintings are expressing something natural, yeah. I want to put an overlay of technology, like something really graphical, something colorless, something that's very technological in a way. Mm -hmm. On top of it, like it's kind of just imposing itself on nature. Mm -hmm. Which has like you know this for me at least it has like this double meaning that it's um, our curiosity to explore nature but mm -hmm. also kind of exploit it. Yeah, yeah. So is it is it mm -hmm. is it something that you see in a positive perspective or a negative perspective or kind of a both? Well, honestly, like um, in general, I it's it's more like an honest perspective because I'm neither for or against. Yeah. I, I don't want to make a statement, mm -hmm. but it's just something that I accept is there in our way of being. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like it's just a part of who we are. And yeah. there are some good things that come with it. Yeah. And there's many, many bad things that come with it too. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, so it's either or, it's just like, I think the the relationship between it is really interesting and it's like a big theme and I really like to explore it further because mm -hmm. I don't necessarily want to give answers or have like a specific opinion in my work, but I think it's interesting for me, at least one of the drives I find in, you know, in my practice is that I think it's interesting to kind of at least, you know, put out the, the question out there and see, you know, what. Mm -hmm. You know what it could be. Mm -hmm. What is the question in your mind that is presented through the works? Well, 
I can tell you about a question that I have been asking myself the last four weeks. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> uh, I'm wondering how we're going to get out of, how, how the world's going to look like after, you know, when this is over. Mm-hmm. Because even though there's so much, I mean, we're in the middle of a crisis, there's yeah. so many positive things. Mm-hmm. And honestly, like, I kind of always had like this more negative um, attitude towards the future. But now that we're, that we're in the crisis and mm-hmm. we're actually experiencing something really bad, mm-hmm. I'm focusing on the positive things. I can see the positive things emerging. And I'm kind of more hopeful now for the future than I have ever been my whole life. Interesting. Yeah. So mm-hmm. um, I really hope, you know, that we have, we all kind of learned something about the situation we're in mm-hmm. and bring that with us because it's like a golden opportunity here to like, change things so what, what would you change well uh, consumption for one thing mm-hmm. just think about it like how how rich your life can be yeah. with so little because yeah. we have been we basically all been like locked down in like in a small area yeah. for, for a few weeks yeah. and you have to kind of figure out how to you know um uh, how to function as a human yeah, and how to make, you know, your day, you know, daily life meet or um, in, in a small space. So basically, you know, just like a simple thing like traveling. Mm-hmm. I don't think people need to, need to travel that much. And yeah. that's, I mean, if people just cut down on that one thing, like just travel less, that would yeah. be like a humongous help for, you know, the environment. Yeah. Okay, yeah I want to thank you for being with us today. Well, thanks to you, Naomi. Thanks, uh, thanks for thinking about me. Of course.